Hello everyone, my name is Jajaj Patel and you are watching Jajaj Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part uh, 5 of e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, before we start, if you doesn't subscribe my YouTube channel till now, so you need to subscribe my YouTube channel just because when I upload the new videos, so you can get the direct notification into your inbox. So first of all, subscribe my YouTube channel for the new videos. So now let's... start in last uh, guys in last tutorial we successfully create the header section so in this tutorial we are going to create the left side section just look at here just love something like this one so now let's start working from here press ctrl plus n to create a new files like the php and create okay remove this all one just because we doesn't need that one and now create a one view with the id equal to body left Control plus S to save and save with the body left dot PHP. Okay, and save inside INC folder. Okay, so now we also need to include that uh, file from here, that page from here, as uh, we add the header uh, header page. Control C, Control V, change the name with the body left. Okay. So now we are going to again style.css and here we are going to create a one view with the id body left so now um, yeah we also need to create something let's say width will be 20 percent height will be 600 pixel and uh, it's uh, background yeah background will be has 74889e okay not that one not that one 3f5267 okay let's come back here refresh that one so just look at this now now we have set here we also need that one to the float left property here okay so just look at here you need to scroll from here you can see that if you want to scroll the body left like this one so just look at here just look at here how can you do that just simply you said overflow y auto okay set the 400 pixel press that one so just look at this now if we have 500 pixel just look at this now 600 pixel press that one so now let's say the body left section and inside that one we use a h3 tag and say content manage ment okay sm we use from here just simply copy it from here paste it from here content management okay and then we need a one uh, first of all let's design that one so come back again here refresh that one so just look at here content management is coming here so now we are going to target that uh, h3 tag into our css so just look come back here body left h3 tag we said color will be has FFF text align will be center and its uh, font size will be uh, something 14 pixel okay 
refresh that one so just look at this now now we also need to <coughs> change the color oh sorry background color so we said background will be s 74 double eight nine e refresh that one so just look at this now now we need to set the height and width oh sorry height height will be 40 pixel Press that one. I think 40 pixel is too much. We need to set with the 30 pixel. 30 pixel, yeah, okay. And we said line height property from here. So we say line height will be 40 pixel. Oh, sorry, 30 pixel. Just because our main height is uh, 30 pixel. Press that one. Okay. Now we need to set the font weight will be normal. Refresh that one. So just look at this now. Now you get the actual output like this. Just look at here. I think we need to decrease the font size with the 12 pixel. Oh. -oh. 12 pixel refresh that one so just look at this now now it's looking very good very nice now we need to design this one okay so how can we design that one so simply come back again here ul ul close and create one li tag inside ul tag okay inside li we use href for now we doesn't give any link and say dash board okay dashboard and now mm, let's copy something more from here control c control v control v okay and let's see what is the now uh, view course category and subcategory okay so we said view course category copy this one from here not like that categories copy it from here paste it from here and say subcategory okay mm, let's remove this course does just because we doesn't need that one from here okay so now let's see what happened here so just look at this now now all are coming very good very nice but we need to design that one so how can we design that one so simply come back again here and say has body left have some ul so it's list style type style type will be none now we need to dis uh, target the body left section ul li tag so its weight will be 100 percent its height will be 30 pixel its line height will be also 30 pixel okay and it's uh, padding from the left side um, to five percent and box sizing will be border box so now let's refresh that one and see what happened so just look at this now now we need to target the a tag body left ul lia it's text text decoration will be none and it's color will be has fff and it's a uh, font size font size will be 12 pixel refresh that one so just look at this now you can see that also set some margin from the bottom of our h3 tag so margin from bottom one person Refresh that one from here. I think 2% is very good. Okay. 
let's see yeah it's font size is bold so we need to say a uh, font weight so we say font weight will be bold okay refresh that one so just look at this now now i think looking very good i yeah i think it's normal so it doesn't need that one from here okay so now we are going to working with the hover effect just look at here here is the hover effect with the white background so how can we do that so simply body left ULLI hover then it's background background will be has FFF okay so let's try to refresh okay then the background will be FFF then body left ULLI hover then a tech color will be has um, 3 f 5 to 6 7 okay refresh that one so just look at this now now when we hover on text that time it's link otherwise it doesn't link so we need to set the link with the display block property from here refresh that one from here so just look at this now now it's link now let's see course management so what we are going to do here simply copy this one from here paste it from here and say course management and view active pending unpublished okay active courses pending courses unpublished courses and the last one will be for the advanced course search searching press that one so just look at this now advanced course searching is coming from here the next one is user management so we need to copy that one from here paste it from here we said user management and what inside the user all student teacher and advanced search okay so only third link required here We all students, so say we all students as same way we all teachers and advanced user search okay refresh that one so just look at this now now the next one is uh, payment management just copy this one from here by control c paste it from here and say payment management and inside that payment management, pay to instructor complete order advanced search B to teachers complete
payment and the last one is um, complete payment in what's the last one okay payment searching okay so just look at this now payment searching advanced payment searching refresh that one so just look at this now now we set the something from here 500 pixel refresh that one so just look at this now now the scroll is coming from here you can see that the scroll is coming here we set the let's say um, 550 pixel refresh that one okay and now let's say what's the next one is page management so come back again here copy this one from here paste it from here and say pages management okay say first of all what's which page is upcoming here terms and condition page okay conditions page the next one is a uh, contact us page about us page contact us page about us page next one is uh, fake page oh my god sorry 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 for that next one is what's page name mm, fakes page frequently asked question page fakes page and the last one is I think slider management slider management yeah I did slider edit slider now let's see the refresh so just look at this now now we have a scroll just look at this so guys uh, I think this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel just because it is very important for you when i upload the new videos then you can get a direct notification into your inbox so guys subscribe my youtube channel thanks a lot for watching stay connected with me stay tuned thanks a lot for watching goodbye